Azure Gleam. Conspiracy in the Air. Having laid Lenato low, the Kingdom's army proceeds south. Count Roe, who had prior declared fealty to the Empire, surrenders, and Aryan Road falls back into Kingdom hands. With its foothold in the West lost, the Empire amasses troops in the former Arendelle territory to the south, prompting the army of Fargus to strike before Adrestia can regain its footing. It's nice Aryan Road fell with little more than a hand wave, but it's hardly comfortable knowing the enemy is still on our doorstep. Comfortable or no, we must take what few chances we do have to rest. Battle will be upon us again before we know it. Not to mention the fortress is still a target. I mean, who wouldn't want their very own impregnable stronghold? Our spies report that the enemy plans to mount such an attack from Arendel land. Arendel, huh? It's been two years since the territory came under the Emperor's control. The wind carries rumors that Edelgard has been keeping Lord Arendel imprisoned in his home since then. If it's true, I'll... I'll... No. Were the enemy to strike and the fortress city to somehow fall, our path forward in this war would grow exceedingly perilous. The West doesn't face the kind of constant threats we do, so there aren't as many strongholds here as in the North, right? Basically, though my uncle did say that started to change at least a tiny bit in the past couple of years. In other words, the entire western region of the kingdom is likely to fall into enemy hands if we retreat from Aryan Road now. Indeed, which is exactly why we must take the offensive and restrain this imperial snake before it can sink its fangs into us. Hey, it'll be nice to strike first for once. It feels like we've been on the back foot for a while now. Right you are. And remaining on perpetual defense would only lead to more meaningless, preventable deaths. Offense is the best defense, I always say. We'll crush anyone who has the gall to stand against us. There you go, getting carried away again. Look at them, all stunned into speechlessness. Hmm? Your Majesty, I bear terrible news. Calm yourself. What is it? The convoy escorting Count Roe to the capital has been attacked by an unknown assailant. They've sustained heavy losses, and it seems Count Roe has gone missing amid the chaos. I see. And these assailants, we know nothing about them? Very little, Your Majesty. The survivors claim to have been attacked by numerous mages. Mages? No. What's wrong? Do you know who it is? You saw the court mage Cornelia during our battle at Ferdia, yes? Well, she disappeared almost immediately after. It's likely she has been burrowed away in Western Fargus ever since. Which leads me to wonder if this attack wasn't her handiwork somehow. It's merely a feeling, though. I'd like to look into it further, if possible. But something tells me the Imperial soldiers won't wait around patiently while we go off hunting for clues. Perhaps you should send a separate unit to investigate, while we attend to the Empire. Yes, that would be prudent for now. We cannot afford to lower our guard for even a moment.
my instruction comes at a high price. Don't neglect your daily studies. The Ashen Demon's working with the enemy? You're sure? If my reports are anything to go by, yes. And as this demon is the one who slew your old company, I would like you to handle the matter. Nothing would make me happier, honest. But you shouldn't change your strategy for my sake. Just focus on winning the battle, that's it. Yet I know this is what drives you. I want to do everything in my power to help you achieve it. Well, I can't argue with that. But this little rivalry isn't worth losing a war over. Is that all it is to you? A rivalry? I must admit, I've been meaning to ask. Do you not bear hatred for the person who murdered your friends? Not really. Death kinda just comes with the territory when you're a merc. And your friends one day can just as easily become your targets the next. Now, not getting my money, or having a client betray me, yeah, that'll get me upset. But I can't go around seeking vengeance for every last fallen ally. It would consume my whole life. Is that so? I'm sure you can relate, as a king and all. There's only so much burden one person can carry. Or maybe you can't relate. If you'll forgive me for saying so, I think you've been letting things weigh on you too much. <sighs> Be that as it may, your words just now have given me an idea. Please forget I ever mentioned this if you find it disagreeable, but... What do you think about inviting those mercenaries onto our side? Perhaps not in the immediate future, but once their allegiance is not so concrete have them join us? I don't know. Loyalty is an important concern in the mercenary business, I understand. But if we were to provide greater pay than the Empire... Rodrigue wishes to see you, Your Majesty. He has questions about our formation. Thank you, Dudu. If you'll excuse me, I must attend to this. We can speak more later. Hand in hand with the very people you've been hunting, hmm? Huh? This king of ours sure has some funny ideas. for my land of home. I can do this. I can depart at once.
We shall rep- Let's begin. It's time to move. We will proceed as planned. We must begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches oh Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Shall we? I must succeed. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Held the Imperial Army here and put a halt to their invasion. But be wary. They possess no small supply of skilled warriors. From the looks of it, they've gone and camped out in the ruins of that village. Keep your guard hard. Those mercenaries could be waiting behind any corner. But now, though, let us deal with the foes we can't. We'll need to find another way. Shall we? I must begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I'll make I'm ready to go. <laughs> Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. It's time. I'm going. <laughs> How many were men? <laughs> We've spotted the Ashen Demon among the enemy's ranks, Your Majesty. As well as the Death Knight. The Empire's most fierce in general. We should try to keep them both isolated if we can. Enemies! Oh, they're coming to get us! Not a problem. Move out! Everyone, fend for yourselves! Ask them to open the doors for us. Now let's take control. Let's begin. It's time to move. Begin the operation. Our orders are... We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure... Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Shall we? I must... Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I've got this. Take a breather. Let us take this stronghold. Now let's take the stronghold. Give them no mercy. Let's do that. We're doing it. Out of the way! Shall we? I must begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Shall we? Let's give it a- Take this! Not a problem. I've got this. Stand back. Destroy. 
stronghold will fall! Think you can help? Glad I came prepared. Josh and Demon and the Death Knight can't be as scary as they sound, right? Right? We will proceed as planned. We must. Let's begin. It's time to move. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Shall we? I must begin. The Sky Spirit watches over. Not a problem. I've got this. It's not over. <laughs> Let us crush the defense. Grant them no mercy. I'll do it. It will likely prove the key to our victory on this day. We must keep it at all costs. This fight might just be exciting after all. I'm coming too. I can't let them keep pushing us around. So, come. Keep your distance for now. We must focus our efforts on the remaining... We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to... Begin the op... Our orders are clear. Let's begin. It's time to move. Hear you loud and... I'll make short work of this. Shall we? I must succeed. Begin. I will help. Not a problem. I'm here to help. My Imperial Encounters. Let us take this stronghold. A rematch, then. Good. <laughs> Do not throw yourself at that wall just yet. The time isn't right for it. Guard this place with your lives. Shall we? I must succeed. Time to move. I'm going. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. <laughs> Not I 
Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Shall we? I must succeed. Bring it down quickly. Let's begin. It's time to move. I must onward! That's one catapult deck. Let's move on to the other. As it hurts to say it, we cannot let her leave here alive. I'll make short work of this. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Shall we? I must succeed. I'm ready to go. That soldier looks rather... panicked. She may be convinced to join us with a bit of pressure. Again, it's time to move. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. I've got this. Take a breather. We don't want to have to kill you, Bernadetta. Please. Wait, what? No, I'm not ready to die. Please, don't murder me. The Ashen Demon and the Death Knight are the only major threats remaining. I wait for the central stronghold. My threat awaits. Fine. I'll handle the strongholds on the perimeter then. All units, clear out of the central stronghold. We aim to ensnare the Death Knight. We will proceed. I will move to assist. Begin the operation. Our order. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Shall we? I must succeed. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of. <laughs> 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 
demon can win against superior numbers. Call in reinforcements from the Northwestern Stronghold. This won't be easy. Here I thought the kid could handle it alone. <laughs> Looks like I was wrong. <laughs> Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Not a problem. I've got this. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. I must succeed. We will proceed as planned. Let's begin. It's time to move. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Onward! <laughs> Enemy reinforcements. We can't let them seize the central stronghold. We have armored units at our disposal as well. They can bolster any stronghold in need of the assistance. This is the end. is a bit more time. I won't lose this time. I swear it. What? This is what the kingdom can do. You've really risen to the occasion. Shall we? My turn. This is all I've got. This is totally a touch trigger that I imagined. Forgive me, Captain. I must retreat. Short work of this, shall we? I must succeed. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Let's begin. I will be your shield. Begin. I will help. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Break. Watch and learn. Catapults appear to be working, though. Come. This is our chance. Imperial soldiers! 
Are they trying to... Let's begin. It's time to move. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Might be time for this. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin the operation. Our orders are... To heal the Death Knight? <laughs> That voice is so familiar. Could it be? No, that's not possible. This is our chance. This ecstasy only comes from the brink of death itself. I'm all too familiar with the beast. My end comes not today. I shall make my retreat. So he finally gave in. That blade work of his was awfully familiar, though. We can't hold out any longer! Please, send help! They need backup. The Ashen Demon has taken on countless soldiers. Even one of their exceptional skill must be growing weary by now. Let's wake up! I'm coming! I've got... No such thing as being too careful. I should send some help the kid's way. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of them. Let's begin. It's time to move. We can't afford to rest on our laurels here. Let's deal with these guys quick. Nothing personal. This is my job. I'll be overwhelmed if this keeps up. on the road.
must unite. This is the end. for one so small. Perhaps you truly are one of their descendants. In any event, you labored to destroy my vessel, did you not? That is a deed most foul. One you will pay for with your life! <laughs> You cannot hope to win so bound in flesh. Pitiful. This isn't a fight you can win. Get out of there! <sighs> you can run all you like. <gasps> Why do you... fight me? <sighs> Why so this? Here, I thought we won. As did I. Who knew the Ashen Demon had that kind of strength? Not that I'm making excuses. You gave me power of my own, and it still wasn't close to enough. That's not true. Of course it is. What am I even up against here? It's like I looked away for one second, and suddenly I was facing someone else entirely. Hmm, that would explain what was troubling me before. That is the unique danger I sensed. Still, you can win this fight. I know you can. And I'll do whatever I can to make it so. We'll claim victory over that monster together. You know what? You're right. I'll be strong enough one day if I just keep at it. Still, one day could be years from now at this rate. We should probably think of a backup plan. Besides, Dimitri said they might even be working for the kingdom before long. We can't count on being rivals forever. What a shocking turn of events! You'd seriously consider accepting that fiend as one of your allies? You make it sound like the worst idea in the world. We have a war to win here, remember? Gotta keep an open mind. Ah, I understand now. You've witnessed your adversary's true strength and convinced yourself you cannot win. What? No. I just know a valuable resource when I see one. And we're far better off with them than we are against them. If that's really how you feel, then so be it. But trust me, you don't need to worry. You'll get stronger soon, I promise. So maybe don't go relinquishing your prey just yet. After all, I desire nothing more than to see you achieve your goals. are catching up to me. Wish this wasn't so much effort. Lady Luck was on my side.
sanctify the hand, and yet you've done just that. So this is my name, yet I am also called The Beginning. I am progenitor and mother to all who call Fotlin home. Where am I? I am not here to answer all you ask. Yet, I will grant the one. You stand before my throne. If you so wish, then take a seat. But know then that your flesh is mine to wield. You lack the power to resist. My flesh? What are you saying? You should not have interfered! I could have cut that wretch down with a stroke! Oh, that one vexes me so. When next we meet, I must step in and deal with them myself. It is quite clear that you cannot my power safely wield. Do I speak plain? Not in the slightest. I have so many questions. Hey, lazy bones. <laughs> Get up already. You sure you're all right? You don't seem like yourself. I'm fine. Just a strange dream. Like the ones you used to have. Yes, but this time we talked. Huh? You fool! That was no dream! Ugh. What's wrong? Nothing. Wait, didn't you... Do you lack wits? My voice is not for him. Whenever I speak, it is for you alone. On second thought, I think there is something wrong. I mean, my hair's still a different color, right? Yes, and your eyes too. How that happened is beyond me. Anyway, we lost the battle, so probably best to wave this place goodbye and find somewhere to rest up. Is that a fact? Actually, I think I'd feel more comfortable staying here on the battlefield a while longer. I just need to swing my sword around, get my head on straight. Don't worry, I'll be fine. If you say so, but if it gets any worse, tell me. This isn't an enemy we can beat if we're not at full strength. We're not just up against the kingdom here. They've got the church on their side too, and the Knights of Saros. This will be a trying battle indeed, but I will follow you to the ends of the earth if I must, Captain. Even in the face of my own former colleagues, I won't pull a single punch. Thanks, Alois. I know it won't be easy, but the Empire's shoving a lot of gold in our pockets for this. Gotta deliver on our end of the deal. Even if it means taking on the Knights of Saros to do it. You look troubled, Gerald. Is something wrong? Uh, can't hide anything from you, can I? It's just I have history with someone from the church. And I'd rather keep it as history if I can. I don't want anything to do with them, not as enemy or ally. Hmm. You're really going back to Ferdiad? After all it took to get to this point? I will only be gone for a short while. A month at most, perhaps. I don't understand. What could possibly demand your presence in the capital so urgently? Is there something big going down in Ferdiad? I can't imagine things have gotten too out of hand with my father there to hold the line. Explain to them, Boar. This is a threat only us Northerners understand. Very well. A group of soldiers from the Srang region has broken through the defenses in Gautier territory and makes for the capital. According to reports, Duke Ivan herself rode out to intercept them but was overwhelmed and subsequently captured. 
All contact from Margrave Gautier has ceased as well. So we've no way of confirming any of this. What? This is horrible! You can say that again. There's no chance of mounting a war effort when your capital's been ransacked. To be honest, I can't imagine my old man going down that easy. It's still true that we've lost contact with him, though. Something's definitely happening here. This is quite an alarming revelation indeed. Not only has the Church made the northern town of Camulus its new base of operations, but many of our members have been traveling to Ferdiad on a regular basis. Srang... That's the peninsula north of Fargus, yes? Yeah, but as far as I can remember, they've always been peaceful. Peaceful? Hardly. You show even the slightest hint of weakness, and they'll sink their teeth into you without so much as a second thought. The Serang region borders the northeast side of our kingdom. It's a harsh land, blanketed in snow from the outset of the year to its dying days. I can only assume they seek fertile ground, and in doing so, the means for their survival. Shame. We could have negotiated had they not been so intent on pillaging. As it stands, I'll be returning to the north to lead a force meant to repel them. With both the Margrave and Duke Yvonne missing in action, the matter is gravely serious. His Majesty has no choice but to get personally involved. If it's really that bad, wouldn't it be better if we tagged along? You'll need backup if the fight's gonna be as tough as you're making it out to be. You cannot deny that, Dimitri. This matter concerns us as well. We would be remiss not to offer our assistance. I appreciate the offer, truly. But we need to maintain a robust force here as well. You're one of the key figures in this army now. Look after Aryan Road for me. We have struck a blow to the Empire's forces. But it is only a matter of time until they hit back. To do? Rodrigue, the two of you will ride with me. A few dozen knights will be joining us as well. Yes, Your Majesty. It's still entirely possible that the Margrave's envoy was somehow delayed. That nothing is in fact amiss. Sylvain, I'd like you to await them here in Arian Road, just in case. Got it. Stay safe out there, Your Majesty. As for you, Duke Fraldarius, I leave command of the army to you in my stead. If the envoy does arrive, well, the appropriate course of action will be in your hands. Just remember, the soldiers stationed here are not mere soldiers. They're kingdom citizens. And as such, we have a duty to protect every last one of them. If they're lost, I will have nothing left. Save hollow prayers for the dead. <laughs> Fine, then. Please, don't look at me like that. I know this burden is a heavy one, but I suspect you will lead them better than I. Now then, I expect you all to keep word of my leaving between ourselves. It would not do to have that information fall into the Empire's hands. <laughs>